Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Manchester United save and first off before we start today's episode, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for all the support on uh, the first two episodes, it's been absolutely brilliant, loads of views, loads of likes, loads of comments which I'll get back to you ASAP uh, and because of the support I'm going to throw down a challenge to you lot out there, if this video gets 20 likes uh, we're going to do a double upload day tomorrow so 20 likes on this video and we will do a double upload day tomorrow so fingers crossed we'll get there and you'll get two episodes of this uh, save uh, going through tomorrow but today what have we got coming up we're going to go into the training a little bit going to show you how that is completely different to last year's game and uh, we've got a little bit of a roundup we've got the Champions League draw that's already done and the one game against Chelsea massive game at the start of the season so let's get into the training so as you can see here massive difference to last year's game you actually have individual training days with uh, sessions one two and you can also do extra sessions at the bottom as well plus you also get the training performance so you can praise and criticize individual players and actually that might even change who you put into the first team depending on how they have trained if you look at the calendar this is all set up the way i set it up at the minute it's all kind of based around tactics my tact my main tactic was being trained uh, and basically the uh, the coaches set that up if i feel that we need a little bit more uh, attacking um, attacking training we can change that as well so you can go into this and you can hit attack in and you can change little bits in the uh, in the actual uh, in the actual training there so really really detailed if you wanted to really get into it as well and uh, yeah going forward this is going to be huge uh, in the game and when we change something when something does work doesn't work you will see uh, exactly what it is that, that happens uh, you've also got units as well so you have your defensive unit you have your goalkeeping unit and you have attacking units as well and you can change as and when so if you, I wanted Ander Herrera to be a little bit more attacking because he's a box to box midfielder you put him in that attacking uh, in, in that attacking unit you can also add and remove the youth players as well so if you know you've got someone uh, who is an absolute uh, wonder kid in your in your in your uh, youth team you can bring them up and actually get them to train with the first team as well Mentoring has actually changed uh, from tutoring. So tutoring used to be in the game, but now it's not called mentoring. As you can see, got some setup already. So I've got Lindelhoff, Varane, and Bailly all learning from each other. I've got uh, Shaw, Dalot, and Valencia. Uh, say with Valencia be having significant influence on the others in the group. And then I've got Pogba with uh, Perea, Martial, and Marcus Rashford, and uh, they're all going to have fantastic uh, learning and an individual basis in them as well individually this is where you can really kind of praise and uh, and grumble people's uh, training sessions um so someone like fred not having a great game not having a great training session you can criticize him already done that going into uh, going into this uh, into this video rest if you saw my videos last season uh, i rested my players quite a bit actually because it's the only way of getting the uh, the first team out every single week um, and you can also have half intensity for a uh, double intensity and actual no pitch or gym work at all so anything below 89% um, between 70 and 89% I've got a half intensity everything else is normal intensity because I want them to get there as quickly as I possibly can and uh, yeah some of the guys are already already being rested but that is training as I said anything that changes in the training section you will know uh, and say I'll show you firsthand uh, when the guys have trained well when the guys haven't trained well and what it really kind of does with regards to uh, the starting lineup going forward so Jesse Lingard really pushing for a starting place on that right hand side instead of Alexis Sanchez 9.2 for Jesse so you probably won't start the game against Chelsea because it's a massive game but you know coming forward he might actually get that starting uh, starting place on that right hand side as I said, we have actually done the draw for the Champions League. We were seeded second. So the draw that we had was Paris Saint-Germain, who were the top seeds, uh, us, Hoffenheim, and Ajax. I think relatively good draw for us. I think we'll beat Hoffenheim, we'll beat Ajax. And it will come down to the uh, games against Paris Saint-Germain, who are absolutely stacked this year. As you can see, Cavani, Neymar, Mbappe, uh, Drax, Lavasquez. Yeah, really, really fantastic set of players do uh, to Paris Saint-Germain have and they're already firing 
on all this, all cylinders, as you can see, average rating Cavani on a 7.5, uh, Neymar on a 7.7. .7. So, yeah, something we're really going to have to watch out for, especially Mbappe. His pace this year is absolutely phenomenal on the game. I'll show you that when we uh, when we play them. But that's our Champions League group. How do you feel? We're going to get on in that Champions League group. I feel definitely uh, going to get through the group. It's just whether we go through first or second. Now, we have played a few games since that Arsenal game. It was a 2-1 win against Huddersfield. Um, Paul Pogba with a goal and an 8.5 rating for him. Playing really, really well so far at the start of the season. And Anthony Martial picking up another goal on the 52nd, 57th minute. A um, 7.4 rating for him. And, uh, yeah, him and Pogba really starting the season well. And, uh, yeah, picked up a, a booking and stuff, but not... Nothing to worry about too much, but a really good win at home against Huddersfield. Uh, Ramadan Sobby scored just after the uh, half-time whistle and, uh, yeah, pulled it back a little bit, but Martial came through good for us. And then we uh, went to the uh, London Stadium, really tough away fixture against West Ham and uh, Jesse Lingard coming off the bench, changed him for Alexis Sanchez, who wasn't having the greatest of games, and he scored with uh, five minutes to go in the game. And, yeah, all in all, a really, really tough game for us here. If we have a look at the match stats, absolutely dominant in the uh, in the game. 16 shots, but only five on target. A little bit of possession as well. Lukaku not having the best start of the uh, of the season so far. Hopefully, we can get him firing all cylinders. He is having chances. He's just not putting them away. So hopefully, Lukaku can come good sooner rather than later. And then today, as I said. We're going to play this Chelsea game. Um, this is how the league stands. We are fourth in the league. Uh, City only ones with a 100% record. Three wins from three. Uh, Chelsea uh, still unbeaten as are Tottenham with seven points. With us seven points as well. Arsenal, the other team that are unbeaten, never only got five points. But yeah, top four... Roughly the top fours you'll see pretty much uh, in real life. Then your Everton, Bournemouth are up there. Uh, you've also got West Ham, Leicester and Liverpool finishing off the top ten. That's enough talk from me and we're going to go straight into this game. This one and only game of today's episode. And uh, this is going to be the lineup. De Gea in goal, Young, Baye, Varane and Luke Shaw at left back. We've got Matic coming back in to the side after his uh, injury layoff with Pogba as the Mazala on attack. Sanchez on the right, Martial on that left-hand side and then Juan Mata in behind Romelu Lukaku on the bench. We've got Grant, Lindelhoff, Valencia, Fred, Herrera, Lingard and Marcus Rashford nearly back to full fitness with people like Dart and Valencia as well. So fingers crossed after the uh, after the international break, we can go on a really good run of, uh, of form. But we're going to submit our team and we'll, uh, I'll see you when we get to, uh, when we get to kick off. Here we are then, they're in their blue and white, we're in our red and black. They're playing a 4-3-3, Hazard on the left, Pedro on the right and Alvaro Morata up top, Barkley driving forward there but Luke Shaw having a really good uh, tackle on him straight away but this is the first highlight but Martial's going to nip in there and we're going to drive forward and he goes all the way over to this right hand side comes back to Alexis and we're going to drive forward can he get across in yes he can Martial's there and should put the uh, ball in the back of the net but Astabella gets the uh, gets a foot in and it's a uh, throw in from that clearance into Pogba into Lukaku can't get there and uh, they clear their lines and now Eden, ha Eden Hazard is coming forward it's counter upon counter Morata in to Hazard but Baye and Matic do a decent job and get the ball back to David De Gea finds Alexis down this right hand side definitely a fast start from both teams and Alexis going on that left hand side into Martial back to Juan Mata over to Pogba can he find a, a Ashley Young on this overlap yes he can finds the ball into Lukaku Lukaku's there and he heads just wide great opportunity for the Belgian and it's a uh, Good, good start from both teams, uh, but Lukaku should be putting that one into the back of the net. Young again, five minutes gone into Pogba, but it's going to come back out to Matic, into Ashley Young, back out to Pogba, back out to Young. Good football here from Ma Manchester United, into Alexis Martial's there and uh, being covered by a couple of players there, straight into Kepa's arms. Highlights come in thick and fast in this one, it's uh, not your typical Top uh, top of the table clash. Pedro down that left hand side and Matic having a great tackle on him there. Martial coming inside finds Lukaku on the left and he has to go back to Nemanja Matic into Mata into Pogba. Lovely first time ball into Alexis and it's a good save from Kepa and he launches that forward to uh, Hazard but by he's always going to beat him in the air there. Back to Pogba and uh, Pogba just switches the ball over to. Martial and he comes back inside, tries to find Pogba and just gets there in front of Willian Alexis one on one with uh, and Lukaku's there again and Lukaku from six yards out. That's the that's what I mean by Lukaku. He's had those types of chances in all the games we've played and just not put them away. 
Sanchez is going to have to come off. He's injured. He's got a twisted knee. And as I said, Jesse Lingard pushing for that uh, starting place down that right hand side. Now he has the chance to uh, really impress us in the kind of in this final half and 15 minutes or so to go. And uh, Sanchez has been subbed off now. William's been booked, and it's been all United. Chelsea literally not had a shot on target at all. And uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic performance from us. We're just missing that goal. And uh, that sees us through to half time. Nine shots uh, on goal, three on target, none for Chelsea. They've had more possession, but not done anything with it. And I'm looking for us to really go forward in this second half and just say, happy with your performance. Keep it up. I thought that was the right thing to say, but obviously not. Let's try and turn this round and say, you weren't that bad. I believe you got faith in you. Go out there and uh, improve. And nothing's really happening. So we've changed Lukaku around. Hopefully that will make him score some goals in this second half. Matter with a corner. Whipping that ball in. But only finds Prato at the near post. Pogba picks up that ball. Goes for a shot and he scores. Lovely goal from Paul Pogba. You saw that bend of the ball as well. Second goal of the season for our talisman in midfield. And we'll see that in 3D. Didn't think it was going in. I thought it was going over. Prato gets the ball out to Paul Pogba. He's around about 20 yards out. And he just... Wraps his foot round it. Kepper, absolutely no chance. 1-0 United. <clears throat> Matter with a free kick. 10 minutes from half-time. Lingard's there. Lingard scores. And that's his second goal in two games. As I said, he's training really well. And he's absolutely putting that onto the pitch. Two quick-fire goals for United. A little bit lucky where the uh, ricochet came from. Fell to Lingard and uh, just put it at the near post. 2-0 now. 10 minutes gone in the second half. Matic has picked up a knock. We're going to get him off. And we'll put uh, we'll put Herrera in because uh, he's got a little bit more bite in the tackle than Fred. And uh, Romelu will probably be the next one that comes off um, in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. But uh, yeah, don't want a Matic picking up any more knocks because he's uh, he's definitely since he's come into the side he's played really well. Came in uh, for the West Ham game and done a fantastic job for us. 15 minutes to go. We're going to get Rashford on. Uh, because Lukaku yet again having an awful, awful game as the complete forward up there. We're going to have to try and get some goals into him somewhere because he's just not firing just yet in this Manchester United side. And four minutes to go, Matter with the uh, with the corner falls back out to Pogba, and is he going to find uh, Matter? No, it goes to Shaw into Ander Herrera back to Luke Shaw. He's got a little bit of time on his hands. Find Martial on that left hand side into Paul Pogba again, and good possession football here. From United, lovely switch out to uh, Ashley Young into Jesse Lingard. Finds the ball over the top. Rashford's there. Rashford scores. It's 3-0. It's an absolute drubbing at the hands of uh, United to Chelsea. Chelsea only one shot in the entire game. We've really, really dominated um, this uh, this Chelsea side. Really not put up a fight at all. Lingard, lovely ball over the top. Rashford using his pace. Gets there before Kepa and uh, the centre-back. United 3, Chelsea 0. And there we have it, full time whistle gone. United 3, Chelsea 0. Lingard really coming on and uh, producing the goods, taking that training performance onto the pitch, which is great to see. 8.7 for him, but Paul Pogba with the player of the match. 9.0 for Paul. Fantastic to see. And Rashford as well, really pushing uh, Lukaku for that starting place. Scored a goal in this one. P played particularly well, but more. Played better than uh, Lukaku over the last couple of games so could be pushing after the international break uh, but yes yeah, great three points for United really good to see happy with the result well done lads let's continue this and we'll see where we come back let's see how bad this Sanchez injury is only out for five days it's not too bad to be brutally honest and classy Paul Pogba gonna praise his performance he was absolutely phenomenal out there today we're going to be back for the... Uh, we'll do the Everton and we'll do the Ajax game. That'll be when we were back. We'll give you two games next time out. But as I said at the start of the episode, if this if this uh, episode gets 20 likes on it, we will do a double upload day for you tomorrow. So we'll bring you Everton and Ajax first off and say if, if we do the uh, double upload, we'll also bring you PSG and the first Manchester derby as well. So if you have enjoyed it, please do drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more. Remember, tick that little bell icon. And until next time when we bring you Everton and Ajax and potentially PSG and City if it's a double upload day, I'll see you soon.